the game we've all been waiting for, Week 18, season on the line. The Eagles are 9-7. and seven. We are 8-8. Eight and eight. We have the head-to-head -head versus them right now. We are 1-0 and o versus the Eagles on the season. The Eagles with a win absolutely guarantee their spot in the playoffs as the 7 seed, maybe even the 6, depending on what happens with the Panthers or other teams. But I think we, with a win, would move into that final spot in the NFC. Panthers are 9-7. and seven. Bears 9 and 7. Eagles, of course, and then we have the Lions also 8 and 8. So I'm not sure what the Lions' path to the playoffs would be, because the Bears are right there as well. Very, very similar situation, obviously. But neither of those teams are into the playoffs as that division is still up for grabs. So I think what we're hoping for today is a Bears win, a Lions loss, obviously an Eagles loss. And then the Panthers losing would also be nice considering the Bucks have already won that division. The Falcons, excuse me, have already won that division. The Buccaneers have the wild card. I don't know. The Panthers, I think, are pretty much in no matter what. But I, I, it, I don't know if they lose, they wouldn't be. I don't know. NFC playoffs here is extremely complicated. But it all comes down to this. Beating Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles will defend the short pass. We know what they bring to the table. They've got a bunch of really, really good athletes. Now, Jalen Hurts has not progressed in this franchise season the way he has in real life. He's played really, really well for the most part. And they've brought in some great talent as well on defense. Tremaine Edmonds, Derwin James. They've got a great, great team. And we are doing everything we can to stay as healthy as possible. And go in at full strength, and hopefully send this Eagles team home. No playoffs for Philadelphia, and hopefully playoffs for the Big Blue Wrecking Crew. Offense is healthy. That's a huge start. And then defense, you guys got to stay healthy as well. Please, defense, also healthy. We are good to go. 100% strength. Week 18, it all comes down to this. Jalen Hurts has enjoyed an incredible season, though. Over 4,400 yards passing on just under 500 attempts. Touchdown to interception ratio is immaculate. And you cannot say the same for Cody Bailey of the New York Giants. Has played better in the second half of the season. We've had some rough games, some rough decisions, some rough moments. But overall, we've really fought pretty hard in the second half. And hopefully it's all for something and we move on here. It's a huge game. Eagles obviously have home field advantage playing at Lincoln Financial in the heart of Philadelphia, but we need to do whatever we can to take momentum early and not let the Eagles dominate the game. Let's go. And we can actually monitor Carolina and Detroit in week 18 at the bottom of the screen. We might know that result by the end of our game, but the Eagles will take the field. We'll meet the offense here in a second, but a lot of the familiar characters you're used to, Jalen Hurts, Dallas Goddard, Miles Sanders, and yeah, we saw those numbers earlier. Jalen Hurts has been very, very good in a high-powered offense, and let's see the offense will be matched up against Jalen Hurts at quarterback. Jimmy G is the backup. Running back Miles Sanders, Kenneth Gainwell, and Henry Jackson, I think out of Alabama. Fullback, Telvin Campbell. Receivers, we got Devontae Smith, A.J. Brown, Chase Claypool, forgot about him, and Marquez Calloway. Dallas Goddard at tight end, and their offensive line is very good. Jordan Mailata, Landon Dickerson, Chandler Meadows, the rookie center, Isaac Samalo, and Lane Johnson. Here we go. This is probably a run. It's not. We're going to go ahead and stay over the middle, though. Hurt's going to take off and slide in front of Dontrell Cobb. Back-to-back -back weeks playing a very mobile quarterback. I don't know how much read option we're going to see, but we got to be aware of that and try and keep Jalen Hurts contained. We've had a lot of success against him in the past as Miles Sanders hits a beautiful spin move on Dontrell Cobb, but we've had a lot of success against Jalen Hurts when we can pressure him. I think he probably has the paranoid in the pocket trait, so if we can get him to freak out He's going to make mistakes. We're going to win. Thought that was actually a screen at first. Hurts, see? Looking to scramble, and down he goes. Running right into Aziz Ojolari for the sack. That's what we need to do. 
Pressure hurts. He doesn't like staying in the pocket. He's going to try and scramble, get out, find space, extend with his legs. If we can keep him in the pocket, we're going to win the game. Uh, I was actually trying to get a contain off. Hurt's going to check down. Good defense. It's the rookie, John the Boss. Bossed. Making the nice play. Third and 14. Let's go ahead and pass commit and contain. Hurts could try to scramble. It looked like he wanted to. He's going to lob, and that should be intercepted, and it is. Xavier McKinney coming back to the football. Give him a block. Good return, and it's the X-Man. Xavier McKinney. Big interception for Xavier, and that is the type of game-changing play we needed. Yes, the Eagles could have punted, and we would have much worse field positioning. Hurts lobs it up to Devontae Smith. Adore Jackson, great coverage. Anyway, McKinney right in front. Nice play. Big turnover to start. That's the momentum shifter we needed at the beginning of a game. We'll run here. There we go, Barkley. Not quite enough speed to outrun Tremaine Edmonds, but that's a successful play. Sets up second down and five, and we probably could afford to take a shot here. Play action. Linebackers playing fairly shallow. We're going to go end zone, and that's actually nearly caught by Kadarius Tony. We had him over the top for sure. Just didn't have the time to actually get him the football. Good pressure from Philadelphia. They have a couple of wide nine aligned defensive ends here. Got to be aware of that. And we're going to lob. Fine, Tony. Good catch. James Bradbury, the ex-giant, right on his tail. And we'll take a look at that Philly defense. We know Josh Sweat is really good. One of the more underrated pass rushers in the NFL. AJ Epineza. Monty Rankin, I think former first round pick out of Mizzou. Defensive tackle, we know about Jordan Davis, Austin Johnson, former Giant. Hassan Reddick can really get after the passer as well. Tremaine Edmonds, N'Kobe Dean. Kaiser White, at right outside linebacker. And then the corners, no more Darius Slay, but they do have James Bradbury, Avante Maddox, Darius Williams, and the rookie out of Iowa, Paul Burke, who we really consider drafting. Jabril Peppers at free safety, and yes, Derwin James, and maybe a little bit of Anthony Harris at strong safety. Larry Smith in motion. And this is actually a lot of pressure. Bailey just able to throw it away in the direction of Larry Smith. They sent heat. I don't know if I wasn't paying attention, but I didn't even, wasn't ready for that at all. Second down and 10. That's gonna be wide open. It's Odell Beckham Jr. Good juke and another one back across. And Odell's down inside the five. Good route from Odell. Good timing to hit that and good throw from Cody Bailey. And we have the ball at the four. I really don't like running the ball on this. I'd like to throw a slant here. I am worried about that outside superstar defender. And we're going to actually just throw to Odell anyway. Wide open. They didn't account for the slant. Touchdown, Odell. What a beautiful start to this game. Really could not have gone better. Good drive. Good defensive stop before that. Good stuff. Second and five. I think a check down. Kind of all over that. Hurt's going to run. Come on, man. I hate how this guy keeps getting out of the pocket. Third and two. Thought that was going to be read option. Miles Sanders just keeps it. Takes a huge shot from the rookie Gore. But that is obviously a first down. Give me a run right up the middle. Dontrell Cobb meets him in the hole. The Don. The King of New York. Kiss the ring. Dontrell Cobb. Huge hit on Miles Sanders. Love to see it. Okay, second and 11. We could probably pass commit here, and we're going to. They run on second 11. Good for them. Here's the lob up, and that is incomplete in the direction of Chase Claypool. That's maybe why it was incomplete. Third and 11. We will pass commit here, but not contain. If Hurts wants to scramble on third and 11, be my guest. You can go ahead and do that. Wrap up, wrap up, wrap up. I couldn't switch on. I hit the button. It didn't switch me on to the closest defender. Dallas Goddard breaks a tackle and he gets the first down. Okay. That's uh, super annoying. We might blitz here. Oh, it's a run up the middle? Oh, it's play action, actually. And we're locked. I can't get off. Dude, oh my god, man. Miles Sanders with another first down. Dude, I hate when your players just dumb out. Dontrell Cobb goes brain dead because I, I blitz here, right? And then I try to run back. It does not let me run. I'm holding back. And you can see because he's taking these weird choppy steps. I am holding up on my controller to try and run back to play defense. And look at him. He just dumbs out, goes full brain dead. And then we get sucked and locked down. 
even though we're not even engaging in a block, and then Miles Sanders is wide open on the block and release. It's so stupid. That is that is classic brain dead, awful Madden at its best. Or worst. First and goal. Good defense. That'll work, I guess. Second and goal. This is a run. It's play action. Get over there. Under pressure is Hurts. He's going to break one sack and then find Thibodeau and go down. Ojolari got to him first. I think Derek Cooper got there as well. That is a huge play on second and goal from the three. Ojolari did a good job, but Thibodeau really made that play happen. Ojolari and Cooper got back into it, though. It is third and goal. Very, very, very obvious passing situation. So we will pass commit. And look to take away the middle of the field. Checking down is hurt. Sanders steps out of bounds. And I don't even know if they gave him credit for that catch. They may have. Fourth and goal. They'll try a field goal. Great stuff from our defense to not allow a touchdown there. A very eventful first quarter. I mean, the Eagles have been little pests. But we are, uh, we are hopefully going to play better than them. First and ten. We're lobbing it deep. Larry Smith, sideline! Couldn't get the football. Man, I thought we had a shot on that one. Did not end up reeling it in. Second and ten. We are going to run the rare run. We get actually some good yards out of that. Set up third and short. Third and four. I like Duval on this a lot. He got bumped, but he still catches it anyway. That'll take us to the end of the first quarter. Good football. Offense and defense has played fairly well. Defense, I'd love to play a little bit better. But I like what the offense has shown me so far. Can we run on this? I don't know. I think we should be able to. They really only have six players in the box. So we should have good numbers here. As Saquon cuts it back and finds his safety. Always will prefer that matchup. The only problem is, a lot of the time that safety is going to be Derwin James. So really don't want to be taking many hit sticks from him. Problems can arise. That should be another first down, and it is. We're actually having a lot of success running the ball against the Eagles, which I didn't really expect. Look at the cutback from Saquon, and another first down. Five rushes for 35 yards. What a start to the game for Saquon Barkley. Saquon out of the game now for a minute. Beck going to get the give. The rookie power back out of Buffalo? I think, no, Liberty. Liberty. Second down and five. Larry Smith wide open. Catch and turn up field. First down again. That middle of the field is wide open. Now, they could be bluffing a blitz here, and that's exactly what they do. We'll check down to Barkley as a result, and we don't mind that. Let's actually put Nick Duvall on a post here. What we could do is get Larry Smith to run shallow so those linebackers run down and maybe play the drag. Or if they back up like they did, we got a first down easily on the check down to Larry Smith. Nick Duvall might have had the touchdown. Didn't really consider it when we saw that type of separation with Larry Smith. Got to get the football out quickly against a good pass rush. It's exactly what we do. And play action could be very good here. Or we could take a sack. And uh, nearly took a sack. Second and goal. Larry Smith not going to get it. That actually ends up going to Nick Duvall. How does that go to Nick? I thought for sure Larry Smith gets those, those uh, little touch passes. All right, that actually ends up hurting us quite a lot. That's really annoying. Third and goal. Find the end zone. Wide open. Tony, turn up field. He stopped short. Epineza injured for Philadelphia. I mean, I don't know how that's not a touchdown, but I don't know how we can kick a field goal in this spot. Let's go to one of our recent plays. We show them Z spot and then potentially run it. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's, uh, let's run right. That's where we have a lot of players, a lot of help. And see if we can pound this thing in. Barkley up the middle. Touchdown, Saquon Barkley. Fourth and one. We stay aggressive. We go for it. And we extend this lead. Yes, we could have made it a touchdown game with a field goal. Didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do it. Wanted the touchdown. We got all the way down to the one. Need to capitalize. And it's exactly what we do. First and 10, is this a run? It is going to be a quarterback run. Hurts with plenty of space. He jukes out McKinney. We got blocked down the field. Holmes trying to save a touchdown. Trips up Hurts and McKinney brings him down. It is a monster run for the Philly quarterback. Ah, that, that shouldn't have been nearly so bad. We just had it. We had Bost and Ojolari completely converge on the running back. Hurts just took it away, kept it. 
and it ends up getting one of the largest plays of the game for either team today, maybe the largest. And Philly already threatening to score with the football in the 28. McKinney got juked out. We couldn't switch on in time. And uh, oh, that was play action for a while. Sanders got it and is tackled for a loss by Aziz. Second and 11. Hurts out of the shotgun. Is he going to check down? He's going to run and slide in front of Dontrell Cobb. We've seen that before. Third and nine. I think we're going to get a little fancy here. We're going to give them a little bit of heat. Check down. I know you want to. Plenty of options. Hurts going to scramble, and Hurts is going to be wrapped up from behind by Derek Cooper. If he could have thrown on the run there, that would have been a very successful play. Was not to be, and Eagles will try a field goal. Working off play action. Nobody falls for it. We got to get the football out quickly. Every time we go play action, we have a million different defenders right in our face. And they really only, they only rushed four. How does that end up happening? Play action. Evan Neal just kind of got thrown. Mark Lewinsky, one-on-one, -on -one got beat. He's terrible. And then we had to get rid of the football stat. Man, offensive line. Not good. Not good at all. I do love working off play action. But... I don't really th know that we have an advantage doing that right now. Barkley just push. Oh, we got bumped. Oh, they're going to give it to us. I guess that brings to the two-minute warning. That is a favorable spot. I think he might have been shy. First down and 10. Oh, that's not what we wanted to do. Dude, can I just have a little bit more time to throw? They rush four. Please, can I have more time? Would love it. Second and 10. Just give me a little bit more time. There we go. We hit Larry Smith. Larry can't juke anybody out, but that's a good gain. We'll run with Saquon. Didn't really time that well. We've got to be able to isolate that safety. He's all alone. And we make him pay. Right there, Larry Smith. Beautiful ball and great catch in traffic. It was the only timing that would have made sense on that. Great game. Great gain. Whatever. Great result. I'd love this post to actually work. I think we actually got it. Nick Duvall, wide open over the middle. Tight window throw, but we fit it in there, and it's a Nick Duvall touchdown, but we do have some menacing news. Starting left tackle, Andrew Thomas, injured on the play. Hope that's not serious, but we are taking it to the Philadelphia Eagles right now. Oh, it's muscle cramps. He's good. Hurts, going to scramble. That's got to be a pick. It's bricked off the hands of Adoree Jackson. Oh, my goodness, dude. He threw it right to you. That's got to be going the other way. We're going to pass him in on second and 10. 36 seconds to play here in half number one. It's a screen. We're all over it. How do we not make that play? Oh, my goodness. you got to be kidding me. We read it perfectly. I don't know how that's not going the other way. First down, Philadelphia. It's going to be all pass commits here at the end of the first half. I think we get better coverage and better pass rush. Hurts throwing back across body. Out of the reach of the, oh no, the outstretched hands of Akeel Edmonds. And it's another big play for Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, what are we doing, dude? He's got like gypsy magic going on. Is gypsy a slur? I hope not. I don't think so. Gypsy. Ah, all right. That, that was just one for good measure. All right, fourth and two. The Eagles will probably get points up before the end of the half there. But we still have a ton of momentum. Yeah, they do end up getting three. It's going to be 21-9. to nine. I think we played a pretty good first half, especially on offense. I think we've been unstoppable. I think every single time we've touched the football, we have ended out with seven points, except for this time, because we will not be returning this. We'll try something on offense. Do we kneel it? I think we're going to run to Saquon Barkley, see if we can rip one. Three seconds to go in the half. This is the final play. Hopefully no fumble or anything like that. But if we end up getting a block or, or breaking one, it would have been a big play. But 10 or 11 yards from Saquon takes us to the second half. All right, good football. Season on the line. We're playing like it. Eagles are not. And here we go. Third quarter action. Not going to return this one. Oh, Greg Sheldon, it bounces off his head. Okay. That could have been disastrous. That could have been so bad. Getting the ball to start the second half is really nice, though. We might start with a, a pass here. 
Get a little completion out of the way. There's Jaden Rhodes. He usually drops those. That's, that's a nice change. Dude, look at that sneaky little safety. I guess Jabril Peppers, the former Giant, just chilling on the Eagles logo. We might try him. We might try him. Tony with a step. Ball got out. Oh my goodness, what a catch from Kadarius Tony. Under pressure, the ball ends up being maybe slightly underthrown. Kadarius Tony went up and got it. We went for a rack catch. I don't know. He just didn't have to jump for that. Why did he jump? Why did he jump? It was actually a perfectly thrown ball, but he did a little jump. That ended up making it a contested game. If you just kept running, it would have fallen right into your hands. Second and 10. Oh my goodness. We had multiple receivers with a little bit of space. And we took too long to decide which one to go to. We end up getting pressured and nearly sacked. And now it's third and 10. Did I jinx us? Larry Smith has separation. That's Kaiser White running with 97, 98 speed Larry Smith. I hate it. I hate it. But we do convert on third down. Should be a touchdown. Run up the middle. Barkley. Stonewalled. Second and goal. Saquon gets it again. Again, not a whole lot of space there. Third and goal. This worked not too long ago. He's wide open. Kadarius Tony. Sitting down this time in the end zone, though, and not on the one. Touchdown. Kadarius Tony should be his second of the game. Great blocking on that play. Great blocking. Gives us the time to make that throw happen. And it's 28 to 9. Let's go. Momentum is so huge. Offensive play art is distorted for the home team. And away team quarterback is immune to pressure. That's why Cody Bailey has been slinging it. Would love to get that ability eventually. And we're dumbing out again. Could not get off the line with Dontrell Cobb. Not that it would have made much of a difference on that play. Dory Jackson is in the zone though. We just go man coverage and see what Dory Jackson can do in the zone. I think we might. I think we might. We got to get out to Miles Sanders. Hurts trying to run and won't be able to. Runs right into Jeffrey Simmons. There was a giant who ran right by him as well. Second and 12. I think we're going to pass commit here as well. If they want to run the ball, you know, great for them. And oh my goodness, it was a screen. That's why pressure's screamed in. They keep trying those screens. They keep not working. Third and 12. Obvious pass commit spot. Adoree Jackson's actually going to be manned up with Devontae Smith. And we'll see what happens. A little check down and incomplete. Eagles are struggling. This game is maybe over with a score for us. Now, I was going to run here. Second and seven. We're actually going to work off play action. And we do have time. We're going to Odell. That's way too far up the field. I got to use that left trigger pass lead thing because we've lead him actually over where I thought the ball would be. I think it's a huge, huge gain. Didn't get it. A little unfortunate. And it is third down and seven. Larry Smith, quick throw. He's going to be just short. Maybe jump the gun a bit on that. Duval might have been open in behind. This is a tough spot. We got a big lead. We've played pretty well on defense. We got a punt in this spot. From our own 35, we got a punt. If we were on the 45, you know, maybe I would consider something else. Okay, no flag there. Okay. Oh, it's a screen. Get over there. Get over there. Leonard Williams, please. He just breaks the tackle like that. Dude, Miles Sanders, come on. It's another screen? It is. What's up with all these screens? Oh my goodness, Adoree Jackson screaming off the edge. You're like, why would you send a superstar X-Factor in the zone corner as a blitzer and not have him in coverage? Well, guess what? It worked. Jalen Hurts never saw him coming. And the Eagles will be forced to punt. Fourth and 12 from their own 19. That's why we punted. Great decision, great result. And now it's time to really burn some of that clock. But we don't really want to let up on offense. I think it's why we're, you know, up so big in this game is we've been so good offensively. Because we keep trying some of these first down runs. It's like an obvious time to run. And I think for that reason, they haven't really been too effective. Five yards is pretty good. But they've really been shutting most of them down. You like Odell on the fade here? Kind of do. I like Duval a bit more. Oh my goodness, what a ball from Bailey. Duval right in between the safeties, right over the linebacker. Clear Tampa 2 with that linebacker inside getting depth. 
who just threw it right over him. And I kind of, I'm tempted to do a little heat check here. Mm, mm. Bailey, how fast are you? Just throw it away. That's fine. Second and ten. We're going to try a screen of our own. They're over it, though, but we got good blocks. Barkley, nice little move to make him miss. And we're going to actually have third and one here. And do we give it to Zach Beck? They are begging for us to run the ball with Saquon Barkley out of the game. And we are going to do exactly what they want us to do. Beck up the middle. First down and more. Look at him fall forward. Big run from Zach Beck. First and goal, last play of the third quarter. Barkley looking for space. Can't really find it. Second and goal. I think we got to throw there. Kadarius, Tony. We got a couple of yards. Really wanted a touchdown on that. Third and goal. Who wants to get open? Larry Smith. Oh, good defense from Philadelphia. Do we take the points? I think we will at this spot. I think we will. And very easily could have gone for it. Because even if we don't get it, as long as we don't, you know, throw a pick six or fumble or whatever, they've got to go 98 yards if we stay on that two-yard line. And they're down by a bunch already. But we're just going to take the points and say, hey, our defense has been great. We're going to continue to lean on them and see what they can do. Why are we in prevent? Don't do that. The screen. That's why we're in prevent. Yeah, good stuff. All right, third and two. They can run if they want. I am pass committing. And hopefully our DB is just play out of their mind because it's probably going to be thrown shallow. Hurt's going to scramble. Oh my goodness, this guy. Go for the football. <laughs> Would have been a big time for a fumble. Hurt's going to scramble. Oh my goodness, this guy. And the slides every time too. Who is this? And we're in prevent again. Gosh, I hate that I just clicked that. But why is it an option? It doesn't make any sense. Just scramble. We know you want to. We're going to send somebody after him. There we go. We No one can wrap up. Dontrell Cobb lay him out. I need a fumble. It's over 100 yards rushing. Come on. Okay, they're actually going to move things around here. First and goal. I think we can safely pass commit here. Maybe it's QB draw, but I kind of doubt it. They are going to throw, and that is going to be pretty good defense. Still two yards for Philly. This game is not over. We very much need to keep them out of the end zone here. Don't want to give them any chance for a comeback. It's read option. I mean, we just could not figure that out. Touchdown, Jalen Hurts continuing to kill us on the ground. They're going to go for two. I mean, I'm going to pass commit, but I don't think it's going to be a run. And it's actually an incomplete pass. Kind of a miss on Jalen Hurts' part there. And with three timeouts, they're going to opt to kick it back to us. 31-15. Still in a good spot, obviously. It'd be a monster blow if we blew this game. This, we just can't do it. We'll try a screen on second and nine. I don't think they're that ready for it. We got a decent pancake there. Let's go, Chris Lindstrom. We waste some good clock there. Brings up third and two. It's all about the clock right now. Would love to get the first down. I think that would pretty much uh, give us a good chance to win this game. There's Saquon. Good hard run. And Nick Duvall is injured. That's the last thing we needed, man. Uh, at this point in the game, an injury timeout, no less, as well. I mean, that's kind of last on our list. We're really more worried about losing the player. We've seen how we've struggled before. Jaden Rhodes is coming into the game. There's Barkley. Oh, he fumbled the ball. He fumbled the ball. It's recovered by Jaden Rhodes. And it's a first down. Saquon been fumbling this year, man. I don't like it. There's Barkley again. We'll take that. All right, two-minute warning. Obviously still in a really good spot to win this game. We've made very few mistakes today. CPU wants us to run it. I don't know that we're going to do that. Yes, it would take a timeout away from them. But a first down effectively ends the game. It's third and seven. We are going to work off play action. And that's open. Bailey's going to hit him. It's Odell. Juke from Odell, broken tackle, juke back, another broken tackle, and they're going to say Odell stepped out of bounds? No, he didn't. No, he did not. Still a great result, but the clock's going to stop. That should have taken a ton of time off the clock or forced Philadelphia to call a timeout. Barkley, good run. Timeout Philly. Second and goal run. 
Barkley shut down. Timeout Philadelphia. We're kind of compact over. I'd, I would like to run this to the other side of the field. Just give us a little bit more space. We could run the ball in this spot, you know, and I think we're actually going to. Third and goal. Barkley cutting back, finding space, finding the end zone. Touchdown, Saquon. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. That certainly is the dagger. I was a little bit worried about running the ball there because I didn't know if we were going to be able to convert at such a long distance. But we knew we would at least burn a timeout. But Saquon just kind of sifts through, finds enough space, and powers through the former giant Jabril Peppers and Doran James. Football crossed the plane. That's a touchdown. That is 38-15 and maybe your final score line. I think that puts us in the playoffs. It's a huge, huge play. Just keep checking down. We have no problem with that. Did he, I think he thought he stayed in bounds there. They're going to say he got out. Minute and 17 to go. A touchdown gives them the slightest bit of hope, but it's not significant. We're going to do a, a little bit of a peculiar thing here, and we are going to blitz. Want to force that ball out quickly. And uh, that was almost worst case scenario because we, we let them get chunk yardage. But I want just, a, you know, a sack that would end the game. We didn't get that. We're going to do it again. A sack completely kills the... the I've been calling them the Phillies. I don't know. That's got to be a sack. How is he still going, dude? Ojolari had him in the backfield. Third and six. Okay, we didn't get off the line there. Quick throw. Gore! Big hit. Can't wrap up because we're going for the hit stick. And that is the final timeout called by the Eagles. Game pretty much over at this point. 20 seconds to play. They are playing for pride at this point. As I really hope their season's over. It's not going to be a first down. Good broken tackles, man. That could be the game right there. Three, two, last play. Throw over the middle. He is short of the end zone. Game over. 38 to 15. A massive win for the franchise. I think that puts us in the playoffs. We just played the more complete game. Dominated. Jalen Hurts got pressured six times. And as I said at the beginning of the game, the Eagles are not usually that difficult of a team to beat because Hurts just... And we're out of the game. I can't get a screenshot. Oh, my God. Uh, but Hurts is just so paranoid in the pocket that if you can pressure him in any way or maybe not even that, but just not let guys get open... You know, and we're we're third in the division, but yeah, he uh, he um, completely freaks out, and it, it lets you win the game. He did rush for over 100 yards. I don't know why the Eagles would be listed ahead of us. We have the same record. We are two and zero against them. Point differential, maybe. I mean, our point differential is so much better. We went four in a row too. Player upgrades. We got Chris Lindstrom here. We'll do uh, we'll do pass protector. That'll boost him temporarily up to a 90 overall. Make him a little bit better. And if we could just get Cody Bailey a little bit more time to throw, that would be great. Nick Duvall continues to just be a beast. I think we're going to do possession for him. I'd love to get up to 85 overall possession receiver. And we get some decent boosts here. Plus two awareness, plus two lead blocking and run block finesse. Plus one break tackle, impact block, lead block, uh, pass block power. We got one and then short route running. I don't know. I don't love those. I might stick to vertical threat in the future. But I do want to get him up to 85 possession. Because that unlocks some different abilities. And then Cody Bailey. Continuing to get better. Deep accuracy is a major concern. We see it all the time. That needs to be way better. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do strong arm. That makes him a primary scheme fit. Plus three throw accuracy deep. Finally. Finally. It's up to an 82. Temporarily up to an 84. And let's see. Moment of truth. Are we advancing? Wild card round of the playoffs. I got a bad feeling about this, but no! We are in! The Eagles rightfully drop and will be facing the Arizona Cardinals as the seven seed. Giants, Cardinals, 
Bears, Panthers, Cowboys, Bucks, with the Falcons getting the first round by in the NFC. And then Chiefs, Raiders, Bengals, Bills, Patriots, Steelers, with the Titans getting the first round by in the AFC. We snuck into the playoffs. Unbelievable. And Week 18 really didn't even have a lot of dramatic action going on. We just controlled the game and beat them. They didn't want to be there. Lost at home. Home fans going home sad. Cody Bailey ends up with passing for over 5,000 yards, 37 touchdowns to 21 picks. I think that's a really big improvement on his first year. Threw for more yards, more touchdowns, significantly fewer interceptions. But the big thing, oh my goodness, sacked significantly less times. 35 versus 75? We got sacked 75 times last year. Way more passing attempts. The completion percentage went down this year. But overall, I think you would have to say he was better. You look at that passer rating. Three rushing touchdowns as well. Saquon ends with over 1,200 yards, 12 touchdowns. Zach Beck ended up 15 for 70 in a TD. This is sad for Deontay Foreman. He had one attempt for 41 yards and a touchdown and just didn't really play the rest of the season. Hook him horns, by the way. But we got Zach Beck involved a lot. He's a rookie star dev. Kind of wanted to see what he could do. You know, in real life, you will see a lot of teams run two and three running backs. But in Madden, it's really just one and kind of two occasionally. Um, receivers. Larry Smith, 94 catches for 1,200 yards, six TDs, eight touchdowns for Odell. He goes for over 1,100 yards. Nick Duvall sneaks over 1,000 yards and 14 touchdowns despite missing some action. And then Kadarius Toney, who we never use somehow, never throwing it to him, got 900 yards and seven TDs. These are great numbers from the team. Defensively, Dontrell Cobb led the team in tackles by a lot. 26 for loss, four sacks, three picks. Led the team in TFLs by a ton. 17 for Thibodeau is pretty close. 15 for Ojolari, 10 for Simmons. We really didn't get a ton of pressure. Eight sacks for Thibodeau led the team. Six and a half for Ojolari, four for Cobb, three for Caleb Claiborne, the rookie. Not a bad year for him in limited time. Jeffrey Simmons with two and a half, two for Cooper, two for Flowers. I like what the defense showed this year. Eight picks for Darnay Holmes. Really big play for him. Big play, Darnay. Dory Jackson, five picks. Three for Cobb. Three for McKinney. And then we had a uh, one for a number of different rookies. Caleb Claiborne, John Bost, Glenn Gore, and then Akeel Edmonds and Jason Verrett also ended up with one interception. Glenn Gore, I thought, played better down the stretch. But he's a safety. You're really not going to notice him too much unless he's making mistakes. Just really didn't get a ton of opportunities. Dropped a couple interceptions at the start of the year. But I think overall we played real well. I don't think we forced a ton of fumbles, but we had that one game where the ball just kept flying out. Mostly Dontrell Cobb. No one had more than one recovery. And then defensive touchdowns, we had four. Quincy Roche, Derek Cooper, Dontrell Cobb, and Jason Verrett. I think two or three of those came in the same game. So nice to make the playoffs. I didn't know if we would this year nearly devastating we got off to kind of a rough start but four what four wins five wins on the road to end the season uh pretty awesome we're not on the road but four wins some of them were on the road but four wins in a row five wins in a row to end the season pretty amazing and that's gonna do it thank you guys for watching i'll see you for the wild card take it easy